Hello, Rector Arendelle here. It is Saturday. Um, let's see here. April, May, <laughs> May 11, 2019. And uh, a few things have happened since the last time I spoke to you guys. Here's my belly. <laughs> now you see it. Laying all out for the world to see. Chub, chub, chub. Anyway, um, baby. Hi, baby. Yep. So, um, Breatharianism. I'm really interested in it. I, in fact, even signed up for a workshop in becoming initiated in Breatharianism until I realized that the workshop was three times as much money as I thought it was. I thought it was 750 bucks. Turns out to be 2,370 bucks. So I had to back out and say, I can't afford that. But I've got a family to take care of. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... I'm a baby. baby. Are you a baby? Baby. Yep. I'm still very interested in Breatharianism. Um, I'm thinking about initiating myself because he gives little subtle hints about the process um, while he's YouTubing videos about it. Um, like the three-day dry fast. Here's one thing that I definitely realized. Um, intermittent dry fasting, not that difficult anymore. I'm doing it every day pretty much since the beginning of May. <laughs> so, uh, every day I've been intermittent dry fasting um, till at least noon or sometimes 4, 6 p.m. Today I have to work from 4.30 p.m. until 12.30 a.m. Last year, or last week, I should say, um, it went until 1 a.m. So I expect to be out until 1 a.m., 1.30, 2 o'clock. So tonight, um, on the way to work, stop, stop, you're okay. On the way to work, I'm going to probably get a monster drink, and I'm probably going to eat before I go to work because I don't want to be that tired and out of energy. Now, that's one thing I was thinking about. If I do try doing the three-day dry fasting initiation on my own, I think that I'll have to be relatively inactive. So I'm thinking maybe in the winter time, maybe when I'm not feeling... Well, I don't know if I want to do it when I'm not feeling well, but maybe I have to have projects done and not feel like doing any projects that week because... Uh, or maybe I have to do it during the work week when I'm working. Easy shifts, perhaps. Yeah, I haven't decided yet, but I do know that uh, it's possible. I think that I can do it. Speaking of possible, it's impossible to do anything without this little one interfering because she always wants to be involved, don't you? Yes, I do. Oof. All right, so very much interested in Breatharianism still, but... Um, I might initiate myself doing three-day dry fast, but it would have to be during a time when the baby, not the baby, when I'm not uh, doing too many physical activities. Right now, I'm doing a lot of work outside, a lot of work. Um, we had this really ugly wall of tires that I have come, completely covered in dirt. We expanded our garden, so now it's at least um, a quarter, maybe a, a fifth bigger than it was. Anyway, ah. it's, it looks substantial. The ah. garden looks huge. Ah! ah. That's a bed. Ah, you lay on it, huh? Lay on the pillow and go, ah. ah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, today I felt Ooh. like working out. Yesterday I worked like 10 hours straight shoveling dirt. Like probably, we, we ordered 10 yards of soil and I probably moved half of that, over half of it yesterday. So 10 hours straight. Um, I didn't do dry fasting the whole time, probably for the first five hours I was dry fasting. After that, I was just fasting. Um, for the last few hours, I think I did eat a little bit, um, but not because I had to, because I wanted to. So, I kind of also am wondering if my pranic engine already is awake. Um, if that is anything to do with Kundalini, then I already have a lot of life force. I know that by how productive I am. Very productive. And... Um, one of the most productive people that I know. So I think I could try doing this uh, dada. eating dada. juice for less and dada. see how it goes. Dada. Yeah, dada. So dada. today, dada. I might not dada. eat. Um, dada. I can't really say it's a dry fast if I do the monster. So I might eat. I don't know. I'm just trying to ask myself before I eat anything, would you eat an apple? 
or would you eat a banana or a watermelon or a pear? Because if the answer is no, it means you're not really hungry. You just want to eat a snack. And that's one of the tricks that this guy said. Hey, I don't think he was trying to say it as a weight loss factor, but it's true. If you are not willing to eat fruit, then you're not that hungry. Because if you're really hungry, you'll eat anything that you have in front of you. So I am not going to eat until I'm hungry enough to eat the stuff I don't want. Because then I can eat the stuff that I do want. So I think that is a good weight loss and diet plan for me. So I'll just fast and dry fast and uh, see what happens. So, um, yeah, sleepy baby. All right, so I guess I'm going to end this video now. It's already five and a half minutes. Did not expect it to be that long. But that's where I am as far as work around the house. It's going really well. I want to do dry fasting, but I don't think I can do it while I'm doing this much physical work. So I have to finish my projects first, and then I can be lazy. Okay, so, adios.